Well, thank you everyone. Uh, thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, thank you everyone for joining us here at beautiful Gallup Park for this uh, press event to talk about fracking in Michigan. Uh, as we know, uh, as fracking has uh, been rolled out across our country, there have been numerous problems with this new oil and gas drilling technique. We've seen uh, major pollution problems in Pennsylvania and New York. We've seen major problems in Wyoming and Oklahoma. We've even seen problems in neighboring Ohio from this new drilling technique that takes um, oil and gas from the ground, from deep underground, by injecting a high pressure mixture of chemicals, sand, and water deep underground to break up the rocks and uh, cause the oil and gas to issue forth. In doing so, in all the other states where this has been active, there have been serious problems, and as companies are uh, putting in permits here in Michigan, there are already 50 permits drawn here in Michigan for this new technique for oil and gas drilling. As these companies are drawing these permits, as this activity is coming to Michigan, we want to make sure, uh, as House Democrats, that we have the state-of-the-art best practices for regulation to protect Michigan's water. We are the Great Lakes state, and if there's one thing that's unique about Michigan around the country and around the world, it's our water. We have more and better water than anywhere else in the world, and therefore we have more reason to protect that water. We need to get serious about protecting Michigan's water quality from the threats that come from fracking. When these oil and gas companies inject these chemicals underground, we're talking about chemicals like cyanide and acetates. This is serious stuff that can get into our groundwater and cause real pollution problems for years to come. And we need to make sure that these companies that are doing this drilling are, uh, are, are, are um, doing so safely. So the most important things we need to do th that are covered with our package here, uh, it starts with chemical disclosure. Right now, these companies are able to inject these poisons underground without telling anyone, the public, the DEQ, the, the citizens, the neighbors, no one, without telling anyone what's being injected underground. Our bills would make sure that these companies have to disclose what poisons they're pumping underground. So should there be a problem, we can, we can hold them accountable. Another main piece of this package is dealing with water use. When these fracking operations get going, it takes about 5 million gallons of water, fresh water, to frack a well. And each well is fracked maybe 20 times. So right now, just with the 50 companies and the 50 permits that are out there to drill, to do fracking in Michigan, we're talking about 500 million gallons of fresh water that's going to be sucked out of aquifers in Michigan, that's going to be poisoned forever. And not only do we have to worry about where is this poisoned water going to be disposed of, we also have to worry about the other nearby water users. This massive volume of water that gets sucked out of these aquifers can run aquifers dry, it can cause nearby wells to go dry, whether those are drinking water wells or irrigation wells for agriculture, and it can cause nearby streams or creeks or uh, natural springs to go dry. This shouldn't, be, this shouldn't allowed to happen. We need to have regulations in Michigan that make sure that when these frackers come in that their water use is registered and regulated and, we, and make sure that their massive use of water isn't going to negatively affect their neighbors. So we've introduced a comprehensive set of new regulations on fracking to make sure that this technique does not pollute our water or eliminate the abundance of water that we have here in Michigan. And uh, I'm just so proud to be standing here with colleagues and supporters to announce these, these bills. Um, with that, I'm going to turn it off to, over to Eric Keller from Clean Water Action, who's going to talk a little bit more about the bills and why this is so important for Michigan. Eric? Great. Thank you, Representative. Uh, thank you, everybody, uh, for being here today. My name is Eric Keller. I'm with Clean Water Action. I'm really here today uh, because I'm representing over 250,000 members across the state that have a major concern with the underregulated process of fracking that's moving forward in our state. Uh, as you may have already seen, the recent documentary uh, that was just released this week, Gasland 2, um, just came out. And the film really chronicles the risks and devastating impacts of unregulated uh, and widespread uh, processes that are deep well uh, drilling for natural gas, which is commonly referred to as fracking. Uh, Josh Fox's film, it, it really gives a microphone to local people um, across the country who have experienced these negative impacts. Um, from the natural gas industry uh, running rampant without proper oversight. You know, it's impacts like flammable water, groundwater and surface water contamination, air pollution, and spills. I I'm sure most of you have already seen the countless videos of people inside their own homes at their kitchen sink lighting their water on fire. And, you know, really that's 
that's ultimately why we're all here today is to make sure Michigan doesn't become the star of Gasland 3. You know, I, I spent a lot of time growing up and, and still do, um, you know, camping, fishing, hiking along the North Country Scenic Trail in Kalkaska County. And if you head west on M72 in northern Michigan, uh, you can head north or south on Sunset Trail. And if you go a half a mile in any direction, you stumble across the state's largest fracking operation. And, you know, with the, it's an accelerator township. Uh, when they first came up with that, they said they would need 5 million gallons of water. Currently, they've used 42 million gallons. So the numbers don't really add up in that sense. And, you know, all of the, that water was taken from directly beneath our feet, mixed with a slurry of toxic chemicals uh, that are known carcinogens and neurotoxins, then dump, are drilled directly into our ground, never to be used again. And that same corporation has recently announced uh, the, the, the need to expand 500 new wells across the state. Uh, and they say they need 4 billion gallons of water to do so. That's more water than the city of Traverse City uses in two years. And I personally don't know any industry that can go to the DEQ and say, we're going to contaminate 4 billion gallons of water and get away with it. Um, you know, that's, that's unneeded here in Michigan. And if you take a look at where this is happening, it's not just a local community because all of our groundwater and surface water are really interconnected. We have uh, one of the wells in Kalkaska County. It's the largest in the state, it has a state record. And, and my friends, that's not a record or a precedent that we need here in Michigan. Uh, the north side of the well there goes right below the Manistee River, which is one of the largest and most pristine uh, waterways in the state. Um, so that's really exactly why we're calling on the state legislature to pass this package of bills this year to ensure that this underregulated process does not destroy entire ecosystems, kill wildlife, pose health effects on Michigan citizens and our Great Lakes. We simply cannot afford to get this wrong. Michigan's economy relies on billions of dollars from tourism, and a lot of this fracking poses a major concern and risk to the, our natural resources that everyone here in Michigan relies on. I'd like, now like to turn it over to Representative Driscoll to discuss some of what this legislation can do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Um, thank you all for being here today. Uh, this is really important legislation and I'm honored to be part of the uh, package of bill sponsors because I believe that this is really important and uh, it significantly impacts my district and I'm a newly elected representative in Western Washtenaw County. Specifically, I represent Selene and Lodi Township where there is currently uh, a drilling program going on, not fracking yet, but definitely drilling. And there was an article actually in the paper today that talked to it um, and with some of the things that have been going on there and the struggles that uh, local residents have with the ability to have any input on the drilling processes that are going on. So on my mind, it's a, a personal for me that it's a very local issue. Um, also, as a former mayor of Saline, our aquifer goes into one of the townships where this drilling is cur uh, currently occurring. So there is some alarm and we've had a lot of conversation publicly in our region about it. But the, the key issue here, um, besides, as uh, Representative Irwin said, the issue with disclosure for the chemicals that go in the water and the importance of protecting our water, I actually like to call Michigan the 21st century Gold Coast. Um, as we all know, Pure Michigan, the M represents the water. It's, that's what it all started off of, and I think that we're really not doing a sufficient job. And I'm a new legislator here, so but and I know uh, Representative Irwin has introduced legislation in, uh, in the previous term. But we're not doing a sufficient job of protecting our very important resources. In addition, we're not giving uh, communities the ability to uh, uh, make decisions regarding where to locate. Uh, those those drilling. Um, so I think what we really need to be doing here is having a balance of 
accessing our natural resources and protecting the health and, of our people and our environment. And so our bills are, will be doing that. The bill that I um, sponsored will be um, allowing local control in the townships and county. Right now, um, uh, Lodi Township and Sleen Township have no say as to where the bills can be located. And as Mayor Sleen, I actually went with a concerned citizen to the Lodi Township Board and um, the citizen expressed his concern and the township board said, I, I, we totally appreciate your concern, but we can't do anything about it. So right there, we have a problem. So at a minimum, I think we should be allowing local uh, uh, government bodies and municipalities are currently allowed to do that, but townships and counties currently don't have that ability. And as we continue to move into the more urbanized areas, I think that is a very important feature of making decisions on how to access our natural resources. So I, I'm excited and honored to be here today and really proud of the legislation package that has been put together because while we know that we need to access our natural resources and that's a reasonable thing to do, we also need to be protecting our very important um, number one natural resource, water, and also protecting our people. Uh, there was a Saline Township um, person that was actually interviewed in, in the paper today and she basically was being required to pool in a compulsory manner um, and uh, really was a very distressing experience for her and I do believe that we all have, should have a right to at least be able to speak to this issue and not be told how to um, handle our own property. That's a private property right and I think it's very important. So um, I know uh, Eric said that the folks that are here in the background actually work for Clean Water Action, some of them, and the reason that they're here is because when they have been going door to door, talk to people about the importance of our water, fracking is a very big issue for a lot of our residents throughout the state and they've been hearing that in a very personal way and so I'm glad that they were here to um, stand up and speak to that because um, we really need to explain to people what the long-term impacts and I don't think a lot of people are aware of the significant impact. I know it's been occurring in other states, but it's really the potential here. Um, and uh, the other thing that was mentioned in the article is my district now, Selene and Lodi Township has now become, in the, it's one of the top, in the top 10 uh, regions in the state for oil dr drilling, so for drilling. So that, you know, obviously is a significant thing um, that's going to be impacting my region in a um, very important way. So I don't know, Jeff, do you have anything yeah, more that you'd like to add? I'll just say finally that um, thank you everyone for joining us. This is about transparency and accountability. Transparency to make sure that the public's right to know is protected. We have a right to know what chemicals are being injected under the ground here in Michigan and polluting our water. And two, accountability. We need to hold everyone accountable, even oil and gas drillers, to make sure that our water use isn't negatively affecting our neighbor's use or, uh, or, or the environment that supports life around all of us. So this is about transparency, accountability, injecting a little bit more public participation in the process around oil and gas drilling here in Michigan because as this new high-powered fracking comes to Michigan we need to make sure that we have the best practices we have the best regulations so that we can really protect Michigan's Great Lakes.